my love. Another one? All right. All right, give it here. Right, here it goes. Uh... She walks in beauty, like the night, of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. Thus mellow to that tender light which heaven to guardy dear denies. I wonder what woman that was written for. Though it could be any woman who had a man in love with her. I know each word made me think of you. Here, I have a gift for you. A dragon's tongue for my beautiful dragon. <laughs> Aye, as you wish. Right, here it goes. Uh... There is a pleasure in the pathless woods. There is a rapture on the lonely shore. There is society where none intrudes by the deep sea and music in its roar. I love not man the less, but nature more. From these are interviews in which I steal from all I may be or have been before to mingle with the universe and feel what I can ne'er express yet cannot all conceal. I like this one. Guess it just puts into words what I couldn't. That freeing solitude of being in the open wilds. Hello, love. Would it really make you happy? All right. Right, here it goes. Uh... It is the hour from the boughs. The nightingale's high note is heard. It is the hour when lovers' vows seem sweet in every whispered word. And gentle winds and waters near make music to the lonely ear. Each flower the dews have lightly wet, and in the sky the stars are met. And on the wave is deeper blue, and on the leaf a browner hue. And in the heaven that clear obscure, so softly dark and darkly pure, that follows the decline of day as twilight melts beneath the moon away. Uh, anyone would think this was written in honor of Azra. Can I get you anything, love? Another one? All right. All right, give it here. Right, here it goes. Uh... That man of loneliness and mystery, scarce seen to smile and seldom heard to sigh. And he knew himself a villain, but he deemed the rest no better than the thing he seemed and scorned the best as hypocrites who hid those deeds the boldest spirit plainly did he knew himself detested but he knew the hearts that loathed him crouched and dreaded too lone wild and strange he stood alike Exempt from all affection and from all contempt. I'm not great at expressing what I feel over me past. But those words, they, uh, they, they say it right. You're right, love. Come hither. <laughs> 